Bathing is one of the most personal and complex activities of daily living. It requires significant cognitive and physical abilities that include dexterity, flexibility, balance, strength, and coordination. For a person requiring assistance with bathing activities, it is considered one of the most stressful and emotionally draining events both for the recipient and the caregiver. In this short video presentation, we will review why residents may find the bathing experience an unpleasant event, strategies to reduce anxiety and agitation for the resident, the cleaning and disinfecting process of tubs and showers, water temperatures, and the three temperature checks required when providing a bath, shower, or a bath with a rear side opening tub. Our goal is to encourage our nurses and healthcare aides to think creatively about how to provide an individualized bath experience for the resident using the living wellness model of care. For those who require assistance with their bathing experience, they may often be resistant to the activity for a number of reasons. It may be physically painful from conditions like arthritis. It can be embarrassing. It may represent the loss of autonomy. The resident may have fatigue and weakness from being frail or from other medical conditions. Fear due to cognitive decline or being afraid of falling or being transferred in a lift. Or they may be experiencing discomfort from being cold. It is important to provide two resident-centered bathing experiences for every resident per week. There are practices that care providers can utilize to make the resident's bath experience a more pleasant one by providing the resident a choice in how and when they wish to be bathed. Providing an opportunity for the resident to assist where they are able, this allows for a feeling of independence and promotes success. Communicating with the resident, telling the resident what you are going to do, constantly reassuring them in a soft, calm voice. Music and or scents that are comforting to the resident. A consistency in the care provider. Maintaining a person's dignity while keeping them covered as much as possible. Involving the whole care team in interventions and techniques that may promote a more relaxed experience, such as distracting the resident with stories or interesting objects, using PRNs, or non-pharmacological approaches. The cleaning and disinfecting of the tub and shower is a two-step process. You cannot disinfect without cleaning. It is imperative to follow your facility's cleaning and disinfecting process. Please refer to policy and procedures as needed. At VentaCare Center, we use PCS 1000. The steps are place on PPE, dispense enough solution to saturate the cloths in the bucket, squeeze out excess solution from the cloths, and use one cloth to mechanically or physically clean all surfaces. Rinse surfaces with water. Take the second cloth and wipe all surfaces again with PCS. Pour out remaining solution in the tub and leave surfaces wet for 10 minutes. This is the contact time required. Rinse all surfaces. Alberta Health Services mandates three temperature checks and water temperature monitoring. A safe water temperature is between 38 and 43 degrees Celsius. There will be two staff involved in the bathing process. One staff member shall be identified as being ultimately responsible for regulating, monitoring and recording the temperature for a bath or shower. This is done on the green bath log form found in each resident's toolkit. The three water temperature checks. Bath. The first check is completed while the water is running, using the integrated tub thermometer if available or using a handheld thermometer. The second check is completed once the tub is filled using the handheld thermometer. The third check is completed immediately prior to the resident entering the bath or shower using the staff member's forearm. 
If not contraindicated, the resident may test the water as well. Is it good? Feels good. Okay, good. good. Providing feedback prior to entry. Shower. The first check is completed while the water is running using integrated or handheld thermometers. The second check is completed immediately prior to the resident entering the shower using the staff member's forearm. The third check is completed immediately prior to the resident entering the shower and if not contraindicated, using the resident's unaffected forearm. If this check is not performed by the client, then it is checked using the staff member's forearm. A rear or side opening tub. The first check is completed while the footwell is filling using the integrated tub thermometer, if available, or a handheld thermometer. The second check is completed while the tub is filling using the staff member's hand to check constantly. In the event the temperatures are not within the mandated range, an out-of-order sign is placed on the tub or shower and it is not used until it has been fixed and confirmed to be in working order. It is important to follow your federal, provincial and your governing health body's requirements for all bathing protocols. Make sure to follow all of your facilities policies and procedures. In closing, remember a bath or a shower is a very personal experience. Always promote dignity, independence, preferences, privacy and above all, safety. It is a privilege to deliver care to the residents with a caring heart and a warm touch. The resident and the resident's family are counting on us to make the resident's experience exceptional.